Hello, good morning. So, yesterday I told you something about uh, the clutch. Uh, we have two types, but the plates are all the same from the 500 models, so don't worry. Remember, this part is not available new. Second hand, very difficult to find. Everyone is breaking those pins off because it's not very strong. And if you turn it on with the hand late of late uh, with the wrench and you make too much this movement, then it will break. So be cautious, careful. First, yeah, that's good. First, we stick in that part. Then, if you noticed. They are small and one white. That's the front one. It's very simple. Yes, looks good. This is not original, this imitation, but it works very well. The thick one, it doesn't matter where you put them, but I always do them as last. So, that's the one. Okay. That's not clean enough. I have to make it clean. Listen to the sound, very important. When you use new clutch plates, you don't have to replace those springs. Those clutch springs, the, or the originals are tough enough, they are strong enough. You don't need uh, stronger ones, so don't place them. Use the original ones. Um, if you want to, is this the same thickness? Yes, same height. Um, let me explain, when you put heavier springs there, it will break, it's possible. Um, but when you, you want to use heavier springs, then you have got a problem, and the problem is not the springs, they never weak, it's, it's the plate, they are worn out. So remember that. Oh, I make a mistake here. This is a special plate, ring, it's curved, uh, bended. So it is also a little spring and it says outside. So that's what you want to see in front. Then we have a small section that's cut off this nut. You have to replace it like that. Now Yes, that is what I want to see. I have not ready my tools. One moment please. I want to show you something. Yeah, yeah, I'm there. One moment please. Yeah, I'm still there. Sorry, sorry.
Yes. Original springs, please use the original. When you tighten up the nut, you can see not much thread below it. It's almost flat. It's about one and a half mil on top of it. Then you know you're right. When the axle is too deep, that's wrong. And when it sticks too far out, that's also wrong. Remember, those axes are hollow, so there is always a cup or something pressed in. If it is out, then you lose your oil pressure and then it gives a problem. So, also those bolts. Use the right bolts in this engine. For the clutch plate you need a complete threaded one. If you use longer or shorter, it will break or it will run into the casing. So, use the correct original bolts. And when you tighten it on, do not put all the pressure on one bolt. Please, piece by piece, a little bit, feel the pressure. And always do it by hand. Don't use an air wrench, you will break it. Don't put all the pressure at once on one bolt. That one is tied up now. Yeah, you see, I make little steps. And now I put the pressure on. And now it's okay. Now I'm happy. That's good. So, this engine will will get the CX500 on his hind wheel when you lose the clutch it will grip tightly thanks for watching my next movie is the other engine then you can watch again what I'm going to do bye bye